Hi guys, so I wanted to take you on a quick little walk around to show you what's going on in my orchid pergola. And I also wanted to, along with that, do the official count that for some reason, every time I finish it, I add some more. And um, I have, it's funny cause we don't have fall here in Miami, so to speak, because we have the same usually hot, rainy weather. But I have leaves from that tree constantly falling all over the place, on top of the pergola, in the pergola, on the patio. So it's kind of like, that's the annoying fall that we get. Not the beautiful red, orange, and yellow leaves coming down. No, no. The scenic drive with all the color. No, no, no. Everything is green, but yes, this tree, I'm not even sure what it is drops everything on top of the pergola, in the pergola, and all over. So let me give you a quick little walk around so you can see what is happening. There's not a lot of changes, but someone had told me, you never know what they have seen. So if you get an opportunity, you might as well show it so that um, if there's um, newer watchers, they can, they can get the updates instead of having to go back to other videos. So, some of you may have seen these, some of you may not have. And by the way, I am doing my um, routine that was told to me by Carlos from the Ofi store on how to spray for thrips. I'm still trying to get rid of those nasty thrips, but I'm happy to show you this gorgeous, gorgeous Mimi Palmer that smells absolutely delicious. Was she affected by the thrips? Yes, you can see some of her, some of her petals are deformed. Nevertheless, she still smells great. Some of her buds blasted. Some of her roots were attacked, but I'm trying to deal with it as best as I can. And I'm happy for this bloom show. I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. See, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, is this a thrip on my hand? <gasps> I think I have a thrip on my hand. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? Ouch, got it. <laughs> I don't have any mercy for the thrips, I'm sorry. Like other things, I'm like, oh, a lizard, a frog here and there. But a thrip, no mercy for these thrips, guys. And if you're growing orchids and you've been attacked by thrips, you get what I'm saying, you understand what I mean, and um, hopefully, you know, you, you understand. It's just a non, never ending battle. Anyways, so this is the pink one that I had mentioned and last time someone asked me for the tag, I don't know if I showed it or not, it is still in bloom. Now it has been raining here, so you can see that the petals are not perfectly open how they normally are because the rain is falling down hard a oh, little shake little shake and this is my favorite yeah the v bantram look at these colors i can't i know i showed her last time and she is perfect and the other reason the other reason why she is better than the rest is i don't see thrip damage on her how can that be they all have some sort of thrip damage except for the bee bantrum with this beautiful double spike. The smell is kind of like the Mimi but is less floral or less, what's the word, peppery and more sweet. So just like the colors, look at the difference in color. You have this darker, more vibrant brown with yellow and the very, very, um, vibrant purple okay just like you see that the colors are lighter and sweeter perhaps so is the smell lighter and sweeter so yeah i have named my favorite orchid ever b bantrum from banjong <laughs> so anyways the other one i wanted to show you was just starting to open last video and now she's completely completely open i see minimal thrip damage but a little bit 
a little bit and I always look at the center part what I call and this is what I call I think I'm the only one <laughs> or maybe some other people but the eyes if you see the eyes and they're still light colored then it's almost like oh yay the thrips have not arrived over here I'll show you a different one with a different situation see how the eyes are turning black yes darkened look burnt yeah that's thrips so yes this is the pachera delight okay and i have to correct myself because actually i spelled it correctly but it auto corrected and um took out the t and put an r but it's p-a-t-c-h-a-r-a -A, pachara delight this i also got from bang jong this was like i think my first vanda that came in these holy pots and i it wasn't growing like this and now it is look at these beautiful beautiful gorgeous roots it got a little bit of sunburn on that leaf but i'm gonna leave it alone i'm not gonna mess with it i think it's fine because it's right here at the edge of the pergola so i think that was what made that happen um this one is in spike this is the xena it's a beautiful yellow one okay this one was given to me by a friend who it wasn't working out over at her place so she said, here, you take her. Don't you love it when that happens? Orchid friends that, or people that have orchids, and then they basically, I don't know, the, their environment is not the right environment or they don't know exactly how to take care of it and they just give up and they say, here you go, take my orchid, do whatever you wish. That happened to me the other day. Someone gave me a phalaenopsis that a parent had given them. Um, yeah a parent of a child in their class obviously that's what i'm talking about and <laughs> yeah it was uh, a gift to me then because i am the official orchid lady at school there's others but um the ones that know so this one is in spike this is the yes the golden doubloon that doesn't stop spiking usually it's a double but i don't know let's see oh is this i think that's another spike but this one has a little bit of leaf issues so i had to do the fungicide and yeah so maybe that's the reason why there's only one spike or maybe i'm just being impatient and the other spike is coming this one is a ben fragrance this also smells delicious okay this is what the flowers are kind of supposed to look like and this is how they look like when the thrips came oh yep 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 but the rest of her looks good and this is the second spike and it's just opening up beautifully look at that is that not gorgeous but i like the scent of the other one of the van from better this one is fine really good delicious as well but that one is even better even sweeter this one was from curl smith and i got from the fairchild tropical gardens orchids in bloom i believe that festival was called this is the yellow uh, butterfly yes so that one is still blooming and i hope you could see how the colors have changed they get darker and darker as the time goes but look at the what i call the eyes thrips thrips still around still around another mimi with a double spike is that a thrip is that a thrip flying as you can tell i'm cringing and i get upset when i see I think I saw. Anyways, moving on. Excuse the aggression towards towards the insects that are killing my plants or at least munching on them. But yes, this is another Mimi double spike, smelling good, looking good. A little bit of thrips and this one, unfortunately, I wrote the name and I want to say it's like a peach Pichon Olivia. So I have to redo this. This this type of um, tag that I got from Amazon doesn't work out very well because it's only been months and it's already gone. And permanent marker, that doesn't work out. But look, look at this beautiful double, double spike. And look at the size of these flowers. These flowers are pretty big. Double bloom. And you can see the difference when they're just blooming. When they're just blooming, it has almost like a greenish color see that and then then it just looks purple and white purple with the spots so before after 
but a beautiful inflorescence from this beautiful vanda that I got from a local nursery. Sunset Nursery is where I went for that one. Really happy with that one. That one's done in bloom and another Mimi. This is the last Mimi. Looking good. This is the little the Vanda Nursery. All doing well, I believe. And we were here, guys. That dendrobium over there, that one over there. And then here we have Oncidium Hilo Firecracker Lucky Strike. This is beautiful, supposedly smelled like caramel. I don't even remember. And Spike as well. So that's another thing to look forward to. Is there any other one that I'm missing? Did I mention this one? Another Spike, I love to see that. And another over here on this mount. I had shown this one before, but look, it's growing beautifully. Love that. Nothing else new in my little um, section here. Roots growing, attaching, plants surviving, the ones that I put here to kind of rescue them in the ICU. My spike on the Phalaenopsis, looking good. Very happy with that. Still everything going good today, it rained. So everything got wet except for the ones that I, I kind of put these shoe trays from Ikea here purposely to kind of block so they wouldn't get wet without me knowing because I would rather them get wet when I know and make sure they don't get too much water. But some of them I see are getting wet anyways. I guess the water was coming in sideways. I guess I'll have to adjust that. But my other in spike plants are doing good. This one, the spike just keeps getting longer and longer. This is the Santa Barbara sunset showtime. Longer and longer and I'm waiting anxiously but patiently for that to bloom. This one, look, it was having a beautiful root show and it's still continuing to throw out the most beautiful roots. Dendrobium, and no spikes. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do we have? The Cattleya Penca and Pecanviensis. I know I'm not saying that correctly. Pecanviensis. Oh, geez. These are not the spelling words that I'm used to, huh? Pecaviensis, I'm going to assume. Because all these orchid names can be very difficult. So, yep, that one's looking good. This one is about to bloom. I can't wait for it. It's about to bloom. Look at the look of this. I don't know. This looks like a happy orchid to me. I love the way the leaves are growing upright and the roots are so thick and looking good. This is my old lady that I once had to take out of this very pot. Now is showing me roots roots that are looking good so I'm happy with her my Renee Marquis looking good but I'm concerned because I'm not seeing the roots attaching quite yet I'm not sure if that is happy right now this is a Home Depot find it's a Home Depot find I can't wait to see that beautiful bloom let's see if it likes that mount Something I don't like is, let me cross over. I don't like how this looks. And I'm gonna ask again for advice. I mean, I see a little bud there, but what is going on? Why is this yellowing like this? Two leaves yellowing. I don't know if that's good. Is that too much water? I don't know. I did see something else interesting around here. Here it is. Here it is. This is the... Home Depot find from June. Be all yellow bird. So this is the yellow bird. This is beautiful and 
a little spike emerging. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I wanted to show you this plant that was not doing well at all. She was doing so bad. Leaves were squishy. Roots were dying. I put her in the lava rock and she's kind of heavy, but I want to show you the bottom. Look at this. I think that looks good. I think that looks really, is that a frog? Oh my gosh. 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 There was a baby frog in there. Oh. Is it trapped? Oh my gosh. There was a baby frog underneath there hiding in the roots. Jeez Louise. Wow, nature, that's nature. And this little raspberry chocolate decided to throw out a couple extra blooms. She had already finished blooming three spikes she had. Actually, I think she had four at one time. And then she just threw these out. How cute. These smell like chocolate. It's so delicious, fruity and chocolate my why not is finished blooming she has four cute flowers and <clears throat> i have two of these of the same i don't know why i bought two of the same but i did look at those nice roots but honestly they don't quite do it for me they don't do it for me they don't smell the color combination is okay but I don't know, it's just like a little tiny spike with four little flowers, no smell. I mean, I like the leaves, but it doesn't quite, I don't know, maybe it's just me. And this beautiful um, um, Brocatavola is still blooming. And I showed you last time that there was purple right here on the labellum, but it's fading away. It looks completely alba. And that's another thing I learned. Alba means white. It looks completely white, even though they call this key lime. So I'm guessing it's for the green that it has. Now I can barely see the green and it looks mostly white and I don't see the purple, hardly. See it? 